Hello everyone, welcome back to another video today. Uh, let me just put this decal on real quick. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a NASCAR custom diecast. Uh, I've been recommended onto the channel, so... Figured I'd try... Get this decal on here first, and I'll show you guys how. Let's see. I think that'll look pretty good. Maybe slide back just a little bit. I'm gonna say about that. But yes, yeah, so you guys want to be kind of doing what I'm doing right here. Uh, disclaimer: uh, building custom diecast is a little expensive, so I just want to get that through first. This car I just painted last night. It looks really good. It's going to be another one, number one Monster Energy car. I'm also going to be doing another one. I'm going to spray paint today for it. Uh, it's going to be the number one Kurt Busch Monster Energy, Energy car, but it's going to be orange. So, let's get preparing for that. So, I'm going to pull aside. Mm, 24 William Byron looks pretty good. So, this car will. Look like this, but orange. You have that one on there. So let me just go outside. And the first item set you actually need. Put this up a little bit more. First off, you need a die cast. Obviously, you need that. Uh, next, you would need a drill. Boom. And then you would also need. Tweezers. So that is what you need for the first step. I'm gonna to try to do some steps. And disclaimer, or another disclaimer: I'm not really the best at building these yet. So I, I might like. There's no perfect way I'm building these. I just want to show you guys how I build my custom diecast. And really cool to see how this orange Kurt Busch car is gonna turn out. So really excited to start filming that. So let me just get ready to go outside. Let me. I'm going outside to do this because it is pretty loud and it's a really nice day outside. So, set you guys up right there. I'll be right back with the stuff. I just decided to uh, undrill the car that I was just putting a decal on yesterday, so. Yay, it's gonna be fun trying to do another, more rivets. I do not really like this step. But what you wanna do with the drill, yeah, I try to line up straight on the rivet. Just go straight down. And just go slow like this and then once you know that you're doing it good go a little faster so it kind of look like something like this also sway it back and forth to kind of get around like get this edges of the rivet just like so It's not done yet, but as you can tell, we are starting to get focus. We are starting to get a lot of the rivet starting to shred and stuff. So, what you would probably want to do best is go against something and just yeah, put it in a recycling bin or outside. You just dump it off. Continue. 
over time you can start to tell like where you have to try to get the rivet at so sorry my hair i just took a shower so and it's like a little windy so my hair is like going everywhere all right Well, I did something a little bad. It kind of went off to the side. Uh, that's going to be kind of hard. I got a little bit myself. But let's see if I'm able to put this on out. So this is where you want to put use your tweezers. Angle this up a little bit more. Kind of just poke at it. Not really ready. Now I got to figure out. How in the world am I going to get this rivet? This is going to fall straight into that area. So this is kind of difficult because I hear it in my face. But I got to try to figure this out. I'm going to try to angle it. Wait, uh. Sounds like I'm hitting the rivet right now. No, 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 not the best. out here. Really close. Get it back in there. Yeah, if you guys see something that you want me to change about how I make my die cast, go ahead and point it out. This is just how I found how I can do it pretty well. Alright, we'll come back to that rivet. Let's go to the back. Actually, I, I have to save it on the front. I, I, it's just something, I just have to do the front first. Trying to look here. Got it. All right. So what you want to do? <laughs> I do this off camera, but you kind of just want to pull at it, and then after a little while, if you get it good enough with the rivet, it'll just pop right off, like. Boom. So, there. You can kind of see. To get the bottom off right there. What you want to do is hold the finger. Just pop the sack off again. Sorry for the wind right now. It's picking up. And my mom's working, so I kind of want to do this out here so she can have her quiet. But you want to pull this up with your finger. Like so. And you want to get the tires out, but they just fell out. <laughs> so, that's how you get that. I wish I had an orange paint pen so I can color the rivets orange, but that'd be kind of cool.
I'd say that there's about six parts to making a custom die cast. So, yeah, that's going to kind of stink. About doing it outside, he's going to have that on the front. But decals and such can cover that up. Paint, stuff, yeah. Not too worried. It'll also happen on the spoiler back here, so. Kind of unfortunate, but you got to live with it. That got pretty far in there. So again, you can tell that it's starting to collect up in there, so I can't really see what I'm doing. So kind of come over to the side and just dump it off. I suggest that you put it in a recycling bin. Should have brought mine out, but you know, <laughs> didn't want you guys to wait just for so long. So. Again, <laughs> collecting up pretty bad. So, dump it all off and continue to get in that rivet. Looks like it's going pretty far in there. So, and this is also how you can do some wrecked cars if you don't have the wheels pop up or pop off or something. This is definitely a really well way to kind of do that for some like custom wrecked cars. Cause then you can just put them right back together. Like, if you just wanna have the wheels pop off. Trying to get this thing right here. Comes kinda of swaying back and forth. I might be able to play it Wasn't able to pull it off. Because, as you can tell. <laughs> but, I was able to grab these tires out, so that makes it way much easier to get this and, like, pick at it. So, put that back into place. Hold that down. And continue to grind. I just seen how that spoiler is holding up. Looks pretty good. And it should just pop right off. <laughs> I did off camera again, but yep, it's just right there. And just pull back. It should just pop right off. So and then what is this? You're confused. Well, <laughs> you're confused on what to do here. And like I just kind of just showed you. <laughs> Well, it'll just pop right off. So, there's your cockpit. Wow, cool, nice, whatever. <laughs> but again, I apologize for the wind. It's trying to pick up. I saw a breeze coming in. So, looks like no storm clouds though, so that's kind of nice. Next, what do we have here? Well, you thought the first two were kind of like really hard. It took a while, 
Because I did. <laughs> and then, now, we have this. So, we have this. We have five different rivets. It'll probably take just as long as the other two. Because the other two are pretty big. So, that took a little while. First off, you want to do the dashboard. Again, angle it straight right. Not straight right. <laughs> like, right down the middle. Just kind of want to slowly start and go as fast. Not ready to come off yet. Try to angle it. They're not centering that pretty well. This is kind of hard. It's kind of hard to center this stuff. Kind of drilled my own rivet to put down. <laughs> Never mind. I kind of just missed the rivet. So let's just try. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to show you another thing that you could take when you try to do these things. So I'm going to put you back down here. Just start a nice wall. I guess. I'll be nice and put William Byron. Alright, I'll be back. I am back. It's something that is so convenient with this area that I'm working on, working with. All you have to do is just come on in here. Come over here. Seriously, napkin, you have to fall again. But right up here, boom. So you'll get all this stuff over time. I'll show you how, what, or when you need to use all this stuff. Do you even need to use all this stuff? No. But yeah. That's what you'll probably need to set up. So you need a big table. Oh, it's the wind. All right, um, try to figure something out. I'll just put my car on top. <laughs> yeah, great idea. <laughs> but um, I'll, over time, I'll tell you what you need and stuff. So this looks like a lot. It is a lot. And you also need a table and a nice area to build. A tip I've done, I just dropped my knife. <laughs> and don't worry, it's not any knife. It's an exacto knife, so it's not like this big one that's gonna just stab you and stuff. Let me just put this back on. The cap fell off, seriously. But yeah, and some of this is like really cheap, like a bowl of water, paper plate, a drill you probably have at your house, sharpies you might have had at your house, paintbrush, scissors, sharpies, paint pens, tape. Like some of the stuff you actually already have at your house. In total, I'm pretty sure it's like 50, 60 bucks I spent on this. Like I had a table at my house. Chair right here. Can't really show it. It's kind of privacy stuff. But yeah. And you just come right on down here. Open the door. Make sure I'm that stuff. And I'm right here. So, kind of nice setup. Check how close this is. Dang. <laughs> Those tires are so lucky. <laughs> Let me just put this back up here. Yeah, beautiful day here in Ohio. Ugh. But what you need the exacto knife with, and I highly recommend that you have a uh, cycle, uh, exacto knife. What can you do this with? Because I kind of messed up right here. You can kind of just. Reap. Don't want to cut myself. I'm just try to like make a nice little clear circle. Same thing with these things. Oh, I accidentally messed up right there. But... This is a nice circle for your stuff. Picture out here. Zip. As you, I really recommend that you have an X-Acto knife. Uh, you'll need it with the decals when you cut them out. So, X-Acto knife are key 
tweezers, key, spray paint, key. So there's a bunch of different stuff. A die cast. So a bunch of different stuff that you actually need. He's starting to fall out. Okay. I actually hit the whole 29 minutes. <laughs> Don't panic if that falls through. <laughs> it's because you actually did it good. So there you go. You got your, wind, you got your dashboard windshield thing. So. Now we got to do the back. Because if we spray paint this. Your driver can't see out the back window. So that's not going to be good. And that's not good. We got to. Got to make sure that that back window. You can see out of. And this is where there's three rivets. This wind is really annoying. Take my time a little bit more on this one. This is also a car I want to spend time with because I think it'll look really cool having an orange Kurt Busch car. I think it'll look good if you can put like a little gear wrench area on it with in black. It would be kind of nice. I think they should try this paint scheme. Literally, just thinking of it's pretty cool. Alright, I think that's pretty good. I'll go back to it if these over here are done and it won't pop. Hang on, I want to show you guys this. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I have shredded that rivet. Oh, there's still more. There's still more up there <laughs> for that little bit. It's getting close to coming to one out or come, wanting to come out. So I get this last one over here.
I just had to poke this out. That, ladies and gentlemen, is not what you want to do. Fart. See, it wouldn't come out, so I was trying to... That is such bull crap. Got it out. So I gotta figure out. <laughs> I love this. <sighs> Well, if there's any solutions to that, please help me. Let's try to look. Let's try to figure out how in the world can I fix this? See, it wouldn't come out, so I thought that... Oh my gosh. Well, that's not what you're supposed to do, guys. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm still a beginner. Yay! Yay! Thumbs up, whatever. So, that's how you take apart the car. I just gotta learn how to fix it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.